Four corners I want her chased. Her last known whereabouts, Versailles, France. When Parisians started grumbling back in 1661, King Louis XIV decided to move his court out of town to his hunting lodge at Versailles. The best artists and craftsmen in France spent the next 50-odd years transforming the lodge into a 700-room Baroque palace. But while the royals frolicked in their new digs, the people's protests grew louder until they finally overthrew their rulers. Centuries later, the Grand Palace of Versailles still reminds us of a golden age long past. Or it did until today. Christ. When Contessa strode through Versailles, palace malice in her eyes, she returned in her dread zeppelin, directing the dirigible to the royal residence. Then she hooked the heavenly home and hauled it away. That crook quickly crowned herself the queen of crime. Gumshoes dethrone her royal heinous and solve today's case. If it ain't Baroque, don't filch it. Oh, yeah. I thought she was okay, guys. Trying to find Contessa and the palace. To help you out, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. There they are. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we're going to give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? So let's get started there with our very first clue, which comes to us from field agent Lisa Gibbons from Acme CelebNet. Lisa. Psst. Gumshoes. Head for the state where writer Toni Morrison was born. She grew up near Lake Erie in a town called Lorraine. Back then, Lorraine was partially segregated, and Morrison drew strength from the black community. Since then, her novels have explored the experience of African Americans from slavery to the present. And in 1993, Toni Morrison became the first black woman to win the Nobel Prize for Literature. Now go claim your own prize, gumshoes. Be the first to capture Contessa. All right, thanks a lot, Lisa. Guys, name the state where the Contessa has taken the palace. Is it Ohio? Minnesota or Illinois? Remember the clues that we heard? Near Lake Erie, town of Lorraine, and birthplace of Toni Morrison. Once you're ready, hold those answers up nice and high. Everybody is ready, and they're fast, too, guys. Diana, what do you say, bud? I said Ohio. Ohio. Brandon? I said Ohio. Same thing. Tina? I said Ohio. They're fast. They say the same thing, and they're all right. Thank you very much. That's the way to start that thing off, guys. All right, everybody, for our next clue. Wow! We... <laughs> Sounds like a rockapella clue. Be right back. Come on, gumshoes. Take another trip. Before Contessa gives your gang a swim. Yeah. The news is bad. Contessa's got a grand new pet. Thank you very much. Chanel Contessa's got a grand new pet. Get away. It lies alone. This one and one. It falls the border between North Dakota Minnesota. See you later, alligator. The news is bad. Contessa's got a grand new pet. Mississippi River, Red River of the North, or Snake River? And the clues that we heard runs from U.S. north into Winnipeg, forms border between Minnesota and North Dakota, and flows through rich farmlands. Come up with an answer as quick as you guys can. Uh, everybody's ready? No, not quite. Now, now they are. Diana, what do you say, buddy? Mississippi. Mississippi River. Brandon? I said the River of the North. River of the North. Tina? I said the Red River of the North. Red River of the North. The answer we're looking for is Red River of the North. Nice job, Brandon and Tina. All right, guys, now it's time for one of my most favorite parts of the show, the lightning round. <laughs> and we just received word that uh, the Contessa has gone to Malaysia, so all of these questions are going to be about Malaysia. Going to give you five Acme Crime Books every time you answer a question correctly. Is my hair okay? 
Okay, listen carefully. The durian is a tasty Malaysian fruit, but it's outlawed in some public places. Why is that? Is it A, because it makes a big gooey mess, B, because it smells disgusting, or C, because durians are highly explosive? Tina. A. Sorry, it's not A. Uh, Brandon. B. Because it smells uh, disgusting is right. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> Take a look right over here, if you will, guys, because up here it is. Uh, looks somewhat familiar, right? But the question is this. What does this yellow crescent and star stand for? Is it good harvests, annual fireworks, or Islamic faith? Brandon. C. Islamic faith is right. Nice job. Five again for you. Here's the last question, guys. In Malaysia, endangered orangutans are protected by law. What does orangutan mean in the Malay language? Is it man of the forest, orange fuzzy hair, or wild and crazy guy? Brandon. A. Man of the forest is right again. Nice job, Brandon. Five for you. Way to play that thing, guys. Listen, I got a quick meeting with the chief, and then I'll come back here, meet you guys in the alley for a quick training session. Be right back. Chief, no fair. We're not supposed to start chopping until we're together. Come on. All's fair in soup, Greg. Besides, it's not my fault you're late. Anyway, it's only your first time. Nobody ever wins their first time at the yeah. Acme Soup Cook-Off. That's what you think, Chief. This year, I am taking your title. What are you making? Ah, I'm making a vegetable bean soup. Mm-hmm. Well, well, I'm you? making a little thing called industrial gumbo. Mm. Pass me that squash, if you would, please. Oh, there you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, oh, Greg! It is not industrial gumbo unless the harmonicas go in. Oh, well, I'm certainly glad I'm not judging this. I wouldn't eat that. You will eat your words once I take the title. Mm -hmm. Pass me the grater, if you would, please. Here. Yeah. You, you know, we much. really should do the contents. We... Oh, oh, that is so gross. Oh, there ought to be a <laughs> regulation about that. All's fair in soup, Chief. Mm -hmm. said yeah, why don't you just do the contest? I'd love to. I'm just going to let that simmer. Listen, write down what got stolen and from where each time you watch the show. When you've collected four loots and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send them to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and give them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here are today's winners. Congratulations to the winners. I'm collecting the submissions oh. for today's soup mm -hmm. contest. Time's up. Let's go. All One right. thing to do. Hold on a minute. <laughs> oh. Voila, as they say. No, <laughs> no, no. It's a, it's a cold soup. It's okay. <laughs> Chief, listen, why don't you go ahead and just beat me. Let me know where I can pick up that trophy. <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> You're running scared. I can see it. <laughs> He just might win. All right, guys, time for a little training exercise. Step right this way, if you will, please. Everybody pick one of these trash cans. What you're going to do is help us find clues. They're going to help us find our crook, and what better place to find those clues than right here in the trash can. What you do first is take the lid off the trash can like this. What? Wow. Whoa. <laughs> I got flag. It's Scott Leonard with a flag. Uh, you'll look for a card like this. It'll have the flag of the country that we're looking for on one side. It'll have a clue on the other side. And then, did you want to get out of there? I got the flag. You do? <laughs> did you want to get out of the can? Yeah. Yeah. That's Scott that. Leonard, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. That was wonderful. Okay. And then to finish up, you then have to put this on top like this, okay? That's how you finish the assignment. So, let's see how fast you guys can do this thing. On your mark, get set, go. Find those clues, guys. Find those clues. And do not forget to put the lid back on top of the trash can. One, there's the first one. And there's the second, and there's the third. The third. Nice job. So, Brandon, you were the first one done. What does your card say? On the other side, there you go. Locator. Okay, I can tell you for this country, you need to know that it borders Belize and Guatemala. Uh, Tina, what does yours say? Money. Money, I can tell you the currency of this country is the peso. And Diana, what does yours say? History. History, I'll tell you that this country is the center of the ancient Mayan culture. So, Brandon, you were the first one to finish this up. You get the first crack at this. Are we talking about Peru, Mexico, or Venezuela? Mexico. Mexico is right, Brandon. Nice job. <laughs> and that tells us we have something coming in from Acme Budnet. Let's check the phone tap. Parts of Palace in a country on the Ionian Sea. 
They're performing Rossini at La Scala Opera House in Milan this season. Oh, next to Gucci handbags, Rossini Opera is my favorite thing. Oh, what a musical genius. Rossini could compose three or four operas in a single year. Don't get carried away, Contessa. Oh, I do hope they'll perform the Barber of Seville. La, 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 will hear you. Oh, I'm sorry, Carmen. From now on, I'll be strictly sotto voce. La, 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 la. Yes, sotto voce. That's opera talk for soft voice. Impressed, aren't you? Yeah. Are you? Yes. Yeah. Well, I am anyway. Oh, never mind. Guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Greece, Italy, or Romania? Remember the clues that we heard? Ionian Sea, La Scala Opera House in Milan, and Rossini. Come up with an answer as quick as you can. Trying to find Contessa in the palace. You guys are very fast. Tina's ready, so is Brandon, and so... No, and, uh, you, Diane, are you ready? For sure. Okay, Diana's ready. Diana, what do you say? Italy. Italy. Brandon, what do you say? I also said Italy. Same thing, Tina. Italy. They all said Italy. They're all right once again. <laughs> all right, so let's recap the scores real quick. Diana has 70, Brandon 105, Tina 80, Acme Crime Bugs. Now we just received word that the Contessa has left Italy. So let's pick up the chase. Wow! The Thank chase. you, sir. Yay! All these worth five Acme Crime Bugs, guys. Give you five Crime Bugs every time you answer a question correctly. So, hands on the buzzers, watch the monitor, listen carefully. Here we go. And that's how it's going to sound when we do it. Very good, Tina. Thanks. Uh, here we go. Contessa set sail for the capital city of Stockholm. Diana. Sweden. Yes. Next, she parked the palace on the Jutland Peninsula. Name the country. Tina. Norway. Sorry, it's Denmark. Then Contessa navigated north to Norway. What sea did she cross? Uh, Brandon. Baltic. Uh, sorry, it's the North Sea. She vanished with Versailles uh, into the land of the Sami people. Siberia? Diana. I'm sorry. Siberia. Sorry, it's Lapland. Contessa fled south to Finland's capital. Name it. Tina. Copenhagen? Sorry, it's Helsinki. Okay, that means at the end of that round, Diana has 75, Brandon 105, Tina 80, crime bucks. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And as you know, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you, boys. And you guys need to know this as well. Uh, it is now time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. So take a look right over here, if you will, please, because here is a portion of the world where we think the Contessa is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. You're gonna risk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, think about it. Okay, looks like everybody's ready, guys. For our final clue, we now go to the one person blum, in America. Blum. Oh, wait a minute. That sound means one of two things. Either that's the burrito I had last week, or it's time for the Plastic Diver Guy. Go! He lives a life of danger, our underwater ranger, the one and only Plastic Diver Guy. Go, go. Go, go, What's up? Go, go, I just saw Contessa in an African country. Go, 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 A region there along the Atlantic go, 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 is called the Skeleton Coast because of all the shipwrecks near its shores. Go, 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 go. There's also a Skeleton Coast Park which protects animals like elephants, leopards, and rhinos in this desert region. Go, 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 go. Oh no, it's the ominous music. That's never a good sign. The one and only plastic diver guy. Arr, ye land lovers. Shiver me timbers. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, guys. Name the country we're talking about. Is it Namibia? Madagascar or Algeria? Remember the clues that we heard? African country on the Atlantic, Skeleton Coast, and Skeleton Coast Park. This is the final clue of the round, so once you're ready, put those answers right down there in front of you guys. Brandon's ready, so is Tina, and Diana is ready. Diana, we're starting with you. You have 75 crime bucks. How much did you risk? 30. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say, Diana? I said... Algeria. Algeria is not the answer we're looking for. You're going to go down 30 crime bucks, but anything could happen. Tina, you have 80 Acme crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 40 crime bucks. 40 crime bucks. There you go. And what'd you say? I said Namibia. Namibia is right. Nice job, Tina. Takes you to 120. Brandon, you have 105. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. What'd you say, buddy? 
I said Namibia. Namibia is right. That means Brandon and Tina are going on the next round. Diana, great job, buddy. Did some great detective work. Got some great stuff for you, Chief. That royal heinous Contessa can be a royal pain to catch. But I'm proud you never gave up the chase. That kind of perseverance deserves something special, like this official Acme gumshoe gear. It includes an atlas, this cool crime net cap with the Acme logo in front, the official Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World magazine, and our new Acme stealth pen. Quarter. See, it writes just like a regular pen, and it has a built-in digital recorder. Remember, Chief, congratulate the gumshoe. I was getting to that. Congratulations, gumshoe. All right, thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, the Contessa is in the media. We want to get there really fast. We're going to modem ourselves there. To do that, we hold our breath for as long Rick, as we... Are you and the gumshoes ready to modem? We're ready, Chief. Let's do it. We made it. All right, walk this way, guys. It's right over here. Come on. Okay, guys, you're right here. I'm here, and the chief is going to be right up here very quickly with some very important information. So listen very carefully. Chief, what do you have for us? Okay. There are 15 places here in Namibia where you might find Contessa, the Warrant, or the Versailles Palace. Let's look at a few of them. Start your search among the dunes in Namib Dauntlet. It's Namibia's largest national park. The good news is it'll be tough for Contessa to hide there. The bad news, you'll get a lot of sand in your socks. And if you need help, gumshoes, check in with this Herrero Net agent. The Herrero are a native people who live in central Namibia. But please, don't ask for a piggyback ride. Next, you won't want to miss Etasha National Park. It's one of Africa's greatest game reserves. You could see antelopes, elephants, lions, cheetahs, rhinos, and just maybe the Contessa. Hey, look, it's the Zebrowski quadruplets. Oh, their birth was big news in Namibia. So the quads cashed in big by endorsing their own brand of diapers. Now it's a life of leisure for them at the old watering hole. <laughs> That's your briefing, gumshoes. Nab that no good nick in Namibia and return the palace to Versailles. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, you know how this works. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Brandon, you had the most at the end of the last round. You go first. Paris, Cape Town rally. Paris, Cape Town rally. <coughs> Nothing there, but we're on our way. We turn it back around. Tina, your turn. Skeleton Coast Park. Skeleton Coast Park. Contessa. Nice job. You got Contessa. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Be careful, Tina. Paris, Cape Town Rally. Paris, Cape Town Rally. <coughs> nice strategy. We turn both of them back around. Brandon, your turn. University of Namibia. University of Namibia. Whoop, whoop. Nothing there. We turn it back around. Tina, your turn. Kalahari Desert. Kalahari Desert. Pilford Palace. Nice job. You got the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead, Tina. Caprivi Strip. Caprivi Strip. Whoop, whoop. Nothing there, but you did. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. You did uh, find the loot. We turned both of them back around. Brandon, your turn. Kalahari Desert. Kalahari Desert. Burgle Big House. Go ahead, Brandon. Fish River Canyon. Ah, uh, yes, the Fish River Canyon, which looks a lot like the Grand Canyon here in the States. Let's see. Fish River Canyon. <coughs> Nothing there. We turn both of them back around. Tina, it's your turn. Kalahari Desert. Kalahari Desert. Misappropriated Mansion. Go ahead, Tina. National Craft Center. Uh, the National Craft Center. The Warren. Oh, you have the loot and the Skeleton warrant. Can you find Contessa? <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Skeleton Coast Park? Is the Contessa still at the Skeleton Coast Park? Yeah, yeah buddy! Yeah. You knew what you were doing. Nice yeah. job. Go over there, pull the chain, put him in jail. Nice job, buddy. Stay right there. We'll get back to you in just a little bit. First off, great detective work, man. You almost made it. Got some great stuff for you. Chief. There's no denying the important help you gave us today. Without your hard work, that crook might still be free. In honor of your achievements, you'll receive this terrific Acme gumshoe gear. Plus, two of these amazing Acme secret symbols. Then you and a friend can secretly communicate through the air. Just type in your message, press this button, and zap! It appears on the other secret sender. It's also a pocket organizer and a control for your TV and VCR. From all of us at Acme, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Chief. 
So you already know where you want to go, right? Yeah. Okay, so we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But you need one thing for that. You need the portfolio. With this, you have inside piece of paper and pen. You will then write down where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego. So here it is. I open it up for you. Here is your pen. And we have the Rockabella boys right here. Boys, start the music. <laughs> God, you're a master. That's excellent. Okay, now all we need is a uh, phone call, which usually hits us right of Oh, it's right there. Hold on a minute. Hello? No, no, he's not here. No, no, he's not here either. No, it's just me and uh, Tina. Did you, you want to talk to either one of us? No, no, I, I, I don't know that information. Okay, well, you want to talk to Tina? Tina! She just won. Would you like to talk to Tina? Is Tina all right for you to talk to? Is that what she wanted? Okay, she's right here. It's for you. This prison food is so dreadfully boring. I can't even get a jar of Grey Poupon. Maybe Carmen could help, but she's in Europe. Go find her. Okay, Tina, now, oh, very good. We know where she is. Let's find out more about it. Chief, what can you tell us? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. England. Baltic Sea, Sweden, Netherlands, Germany, Switzerland, Poland, Slovenia, Belarus, Ukraine, Moldova, Macedonia, Turkey. Greg, let's go to the map. I feel good. You ready to do this? Yeah. All right, let me explain it to those who may not know what you're going to do. What you have to do is this. Identify eight locations in 45 seconds. When you're right, you'll hear this sound. When you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. If you're wrong two times, don't even worry about it. Leave the market where it is. We continue on from there. If you're right eight times in 45 seconds, though, you get the trip to anywhere in North America. One other thing, when you see this right here, an arrow like this, we're talking about a body of water. Any questions anymore from you? Nope. Not at all. You ready to go? Yep. You guys think you can do this? Come on, Tina, let's do it then, buddy. Grab yourself a marker. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. These guys are behind you. Good luck to you. Here you go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come with to Berlin, Germany. 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 Go, buddy. Germany. Yeah, let's go. It's all right. Amsterdam, Netherlands. 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 Go, Netherlands. You got it. Zurich, Switzerland. 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 Go. Switzerland. Yeah, you got it. Let's go. Baltic Sea. Baltic Sea. Baltic Sea. Okay, let's go. Come on, Liverpool, England. Liverpool, England. England, England. You got it. Ukraine, Ukraine. Kiev, Ukraine. Let's go. Sweden, get the ball. Sweden. Sweden, do it, buddy. Yeah. Poland, Warsaw, Poland. Oh, man. How do you feel, bud? Great. You should feel great. Look what she did to one of our markers. Woo. Check that out, huh? This is a winner. All right. A moment ago, you wrote down where you'd like to go. If you caught Carmen San Diego, you've done that. You and a pair are going to... Let's get Alaska. Get there, pal. Excellent, excellent job. You've been doing great stuff for us all day. There's one more thing I want you to do. Do you know what it is? Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filcher from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Steal their soul in South Korea. We can let it cook right on the floor. Red seas of Greenland. Tell me, see in the news. Well, they never ask you so who steal me.
win for where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And remember, our mission's tough. The job's not easy, because Carmen's gang is extra sleep. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always, gumshoes, Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. And by Delta Airlines.